So next experiment, as I mentioned here, the next experiment is what? Rate a program. Even for your information, what I will do in the sense. Um, yeah. Where is it? This, uh, you know, this uh, as per your. Uh, see, as per your. Uh, this thing uh, mm. manual. This is what a second one. Whereas this is what a sixth one as per your manual. I repeat, this is the sixth one as per your manual. Where you'll have to, uh, you know, not traffic control. Low monitor. This is what your sixth experiment as per your uh, experiment, which is where you will have to observe the uh, flow monitor. So I repeat as per your expert as per your manual. This is the sixth experiment. I'll teach you the sixth experiment now itself. The reason that. OK, that's it. The reason that so from the experiment, whatever we discussed till now from this, so there is a only a uh, sum of the additional lines which you're supposed to add up to the program. So only we'll finish it off the sixth one right now. So what is that all about in the sense? Uh, so what are we going to do in the sense? It's the same story you can if you observe. See how you know as I mentioned for every for every experiment you have to connect these uh, five steps. See for for the sixth experiment also how many nodes you have to create? It is a two nodes. What link you have to connect? It is a point to point link. What interface? It is IP for interface itself. So it is the same client server application, same protocol UDP. Only the thing that you will have to analyze the flow monitor. What is this flow monitor, my dear? What is this all about flow monitor in the sense? Understand what is this all about flow monitor in the sense? So uh, what is this uh, flow monitor is all about in the sense? Per suppose, per suppose, per suppose in, in case of uh, you say it as a gas, gas cylinder, what is the level of uh, gas availability in your uh, cylinder? Maintaining, observing that, uh, you know, statistics of the gas level in your cylinder, which is, uh, you know, which will be done. Uh, that's what gas statistics, even in, in inside with respect to your, uh, you say fuel, fuel monitor with respect to your car or the bike inside, inside your uh, fuel tank of your car or it can be bike. How much fuel is left out? Is it full? Is it uh, 50 percent? Is it zero percent? Where it will be fluid monitor will be monitoring the availability of the fuel in the fuel tank. Even in case of water tank. So what I'm trying to convey like that monitoring the availability. How much is available here? Also, we'll be monitoring something in our experiment or in our networking. We will be monitoring something. What are we monitoring? In a sense, it is a flow data flow. Right, so it is a data flow right now. Also, I am sending so many things. Right now, I am sending so many th things through this uh, discussions, but is it really reaching to your end? It's also a data flow monitor, so which requires some flow monitors all about which monitors the data transmission between the sender and the receiver. How much data is sent from the sender? How much data is received at the receiver? Does it receive completely? Does it has any loss in between? So those things will be keep on monitoring. That is all about the flow monitor for this case i repeat for this experiment you just need to once after if you have ex ex you know understood the first experiment whatever i have taught till now then understanding this experiment is so 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 easy okay for that uh, case itself i'll show you that so for uh, just to give that differences i'll i'll open that in the different uh, panel so i hope you remember so students, I hope whatever I am showing here is visible to you all. Yes, is it yes. visible? Yes. Yeah. Now here, if you observe, so this was our first program. This was our, uh, you know, program, whatever we have discussed till now. You see this in the, the program which I am discussing now, which has only few changes. What are those changes? I will show you. First change is this, including the header files because we want to observe the flow money flow flow monitor or a data flow. So I we will have to use the respective header files, which is flow monitor dot H flow motor helper dot H and traffic control module dot H. So like this three header files which we have to include with the same interface where we had for the first experiment. Then later we are not changing anything. We are not changing anything. You see here, we have created the two nodes. Yes, created. We have created the point to point link. Yes, created with the same. You know, everything is same, quite same. 
you know what so then later you you know by using that point to point link you, they are connected then ipv4 stack is installed i is you know base address and mask is set then server is been initialized at the node 1 with the respective port number and client is been initialized at the node 0 with the same uh, you know server port and the yes same same story now next change is here whatever the what whatever the uh, header files whatever you have defined for flow monitor you are making them to utilize in this step which is which i say the step two where what are you doing what are you doing in the sense you are you are making them to uh, that's what you are making the flow monitor to monitor the transactions whatever it is happening between the udp server and udp client when the udp client sends which is the uh, what is the data flow when the udp server responds back what is that data flow that only you will be observing i repeat only that you'll be observing so that is what all about the uh, flow monitor so that flow once after the flow monitor is is installed so you'll be getting that data flow transactions details now once after you have these three lines then later you have to very importantly you can money you can uh, you know fetch the results only after you stop the simulation so so only you can see at the end of the program see you had a uh, you don't need these three lines uh, for this if you want you can also utilize so i'm just uh, uh, quoting whatever the changes from the program to the program okay in that connectivity in that connectivity so this is also whether the tracing is required or not so yes if at all if you want to create any pcap file so if whenever the tracing is uh, you know uh, true so in such case where you will be creating a, a pcap file so very importantly here what i'm stressing in the sense so creating the a flow monitor data that flow monitor flow monitor data is created at this level that created data that created data i am pushing to the one of the xml file i repeat i'm pushing that created flow monitor flow monitor data to one of the xml file I'm creating the I'm pushing that uh, created flow monitor flow monitor data to the one of the uh, XML file. That is what it is in this line. Flow monitor serialized to XML file. I'm pushing to the one of the XML file, but I can do this only after I stop the simulation and simulator. Why? Why I'm doing this in a sense? It is as same as students. I hope you got this point of flow monitor. What is all about? Just example. I'll I'll uh, you know uh, I'll uh, keep one person on the one highway where i'll make him to count the number of vehicles which will be moving from the one side to the other side from uh, morning six o'clock to the evening six o'clock i can only ask him to give the report after six o'clock i can i cannot keep on disturbing him in between also after one hour after one hour or after two hours there's no point in that when i have given the task between 6 a.m to 6 p.m after 6 p.m only you'll be taking the uh, statistics and similarly once after you stop the simulation then only you'll be fetching the flow monitor data that fledged flow monitor data which i'll be pushing into the xml file so that that is what i am doing here so this is a only three additional steps or a extra lines with respect to the first program whatever we have discussed till now for that program it is this is an extension code or extension lines what are the extension three header files Three header files, then three flow monitor uh, where the flow monitor is installed, then stopping the simulation, and this is optional. So then later, so pushing the results of the flow monitor to the XML, right? So like that, these are the additional code whatever we have imposed on, into this experiment as a sixth experiment in our study. Now for your uh, uh, difference also whatever i have shown till now these results right this is all the results whatever we have discussed for the previous experiment now for your information i'll start one more terminal as i was as i'm uh, starting from so i'll start one more terminal so where as usual i'll enter to the sudo hope you remembered so just to give the difference that so uh, there's no point in you know there is no difference in uh, whether you in i i can use ns 3.33 and ns 3.27 no issues so that is where i had a uh, you know uh, we had uh, cd scratch inside that we had that source file which is the source file this is what p6.cc was the source file 
write p6.3 uh, cc was a source file which i can run where for which i have to go back that is where i need to run dot slash var if and if and run space uh, what so scratch p6 p6 so when i execute that so you will you can see the same results are same as the current uh, you know previous experiment whatever i have taught till now so which uh, where the client will be sending so many so, so many packets at so much uh, you know at so and so time at so and so port same same results you you may feel that it is the same results i'll show you that As I have quoted, so whatever will be the number of uh, files or the program files available in the scratch folder. So we need to make sure that no file or no program file has any error. If any program file has any error, so definitely, so you will not get the output for your program because we are uh, running the all the scratch folder files at a time. It's not alone. It's not your own alone, right? <laughs> Right, so this is what you can observe. You feel that it is the same results, right? So it's the same results of the uh, previous experiments, whatever we have discussed. You may feel that, right? But the thing that, so how to get that flow monitor is uh, so, so important. So even in our program also, we have used this, right? So we have used this uh, flow monitor. Now, basically you are not uh, finding any results related to other than the you know previous experiment you feel that the results are quite same as the previous experiment what is the difference it is you are making out the sense which is very very important my dear so when we go to the see this is what very important try to remember inside the rest app, obviously you have ns 3.27 inside that you have ns 3.27 uh, this is where you had a scratch as I mentioned where you'll be where you'll be having a, a program file inside the NS 3.27. This is very important inside the NS 3.27. You have a source folder inside the source folder. Get into the flow monitor inside the flow monitor. Get into the examples inside this. There is a file name called as flow mon parse dot uh, parse results dot py. This is very, very, very important. What I'm saying in a sense, this file, this file is so important. So what you have to do in a sense for this program sake, you need to copy for this program sake, you need to copy the file name. What is the file name? Dot py from where? From this, from the path. Where? What is that path? It is this path, which is NS 3.27 source flow monitor examples. OK, so from so NS 3.27 flow monitor. Slash uh, examples from here you to you need to uh, you know copy that to the what? NS 3.27 what I'm saying in a sense, this is very important step my dear. You will have to push the this file from examples to the NS 3.27. You have to bring it here as I've already brought it here, which you can observe. But, but when you install NS 3.3 NS for the first time, this will not be there here. You have to bring it here. Then only you can monitor the results. So only I have written here. Bring the file, which what is the file? Flow on parse results dot py from this path. OK, from this path. To the NS 3.27. So then only you can execute now how to execute that. So once after you, you are complete, you are done with the dot slash WAF, you are you feel that it is as same as the results of the previous experiment. Now it is actual story where you need to run the as it is. If you can you, you I hope you would also observe that. See, this is the Python file, right? So this is the Python file, whichever you copied. So as it is a Python file, you need to run Python flowman. What is that? Uh, you know, same file name flowman parse. Uh, results.py followed by our current Python file. Uh, sorry, our current uh, XML file. What is our current XML file? Can you observe this? It was p16.xml file. Even for your information, first, even before you run that, you must make sure whether the p16.xml file is created or not. How to do that? Just do it less. Just observe whether it is created or not. See, it is created here p16.xml. Now type 
python space flowmon dot results dot uh, result parse results dot py followed by p16 p16 dot xml so where you are observing that results now you can observe this is the results there are two flows actually what first flow is from flow one flow id is one from where from, uh, obviously you may use a fdp protocol from where from the 10 1 1 1 which is the 10 1 1 1 which is the client right at the port number is 4915153 to the server 10 1 1 1 2 port number 9 how much data transact you know transmission bitrate at the client was 10 so this is the transmission bitrate this is the uh, receiving bitrate at the uh, server and there is a delay of 3.669 as the transmission bitrate and the receiving bitrate is quite same so there is no drop there is no loss similarly uh, flow flow data flow 2 which is from where from server back to the client server at the port number back to the client at the port number so again the same transmission rate at the server receiving rate at the client is same so loss is again zero you see you these port numbers and these ip addresses is as same as whatever you observed the here but only the thing that here you are going to get it as just like a report by the flow monitor that's only the thing that's only the extension to this uh, program right that's what your uh, current program understood. Students, understanding? Yes, sir. So here, very importantly, moving the flow on parse results.py is so important. If you don't move that file to the respective location, you will not get these results. You'll get these. You'll get these, this result as same as the previous experiment, whatever we discussed, we will get this. But in order to get this result, moving that flow on parse results.py to the respective location with what I have shown in the notepad also, this is also important. Okay. So that's what this experiment. 